Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem Dreaming of Freedom which came in recent context of code forces that is at 70. So in this question, there are n programmers and m algorithms are set for that and they have m different choice options for that. So before the first round, all m options are available. In each round, every programmer make a vote for one remaining algorithm. So every programmer choose will choose a algorithm and after the round only the algorithm with the maximum number of votes remain and the voting process ends when they, there is only one option left so our task is to determine whether the voting process can be continually indefinitely or no matter how people vote they will eventually choose a single option after some finite amount of rounds so our target is that if anyhow we can find a possible combination in which the algorithm cannot choose a, only one algorithm like we want to choose a combination in which the algo uh, remaining algorithm will be more than one so in that case that will make a uh, infinite uh, rounds so what i need to say that uh, like you can see that here three programs are there and two, algor two algorithms are there so these add combination are possible here so you can see that in each combination like in this one is maximum in this one in this one in this two 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 and one in this one so in all combination there is a particular algorithm is present which is winning in that so in this uh, uh, that is not uh, going infinite times so for that we are printing yes but if you see for this like four and two in this there possible a combination in which like you can see that uh, there are four programmers and uh, two choices they have so in this one and two both have same frequencies so in that case uh, we cannot choose any particular uh, algorithm so that will go infinite times because you can see that here uh, no algorithms is eliminated same algorithms are present after this round also so that will go for infinite times so uh, first of all what One minute. Okay. So, uh, what is our target? That uh, first of all, what I think that uh, if our n is even, that means our programs are even. Then we can choose uh, any two options. Like, uh, like just think that we value of m is four. What is that? That we have four choices. One, two. 3, 4. But what we will do? We will choose only 1 and 2. And as or n is even, then what we will do? That we will make divide it on half side. Half will contain 1 and half will contain 2. So this is not giving any particular algorithm. So that will make uh, infinite rounds. So in this case, we will print no. So initially, what I thought that if value of 1 is even and value of m is more than 1, then I will print no. And on all other cases, I will print yes. But then I get to know about a, another case, like uh, just think value of 1 is 3. And all choices are also 3. So uh, there can be possible combination like 1, 2, and 3. In this combination, you can see that all 3 have same frequencies. So we cannot make any algorithm uh, we cannot eliminate any algorithm from this one so that is also making a infinite uh, rounds so what we can conclude from here that uh, if anyhow we can take the uh, like three is given here so what is our target that we have to choose three algorithms we have to choose three algorithms such that um, we if we want to make the infinite sound this thing take another example like uh, Value of n is uh, just take it like fifteen. In that case, you want to divide this fifteen in some equally pa equal part. What is your target? That uh, these are total 50, 15 persons. 
and you want to put a number such like uh, all number have same frequencies in that case you will take some x number some x numbers from m and what is your target that this x should be divisible of uh, uh, x remainder of 15 from x should be 0 in only that case you can make all frequencies equal and in that uh, the round will go for infinite times are you getting this one that what is your target that we will choose any x such that 15 remainder x will be 0 in that case we can divide 15 such that such like um, all numbers have same frequencies and for that none of algorithm will eliminate it so that can make uh, infinite rounds and we will print no in that case so just in now another thing that like 6 is given to us then we can make x we can choose x as 3 also we can choose x as 2 also but uh, you can see that if we choose only 2 then also we can get no because we know don't need to select all numbers from m we can uh, uh, remove some elements also like you can see that here 2 is not present so we don't need to select all numbers so now you maybe you get that your target is to find the smallest prime factor of this n our target is to find the smallest prime factor of this n if that is and that we will make that equal to x what i will need to say that uh, our target is to find the smallest prime factor of this n and that is x and from that x we can uh, can uh, divide these uh, 15 numbers in uh, equal frequencies so now if this x that is smallest prime factor if that is less than or equal to m in that case we will print no otherwise we will print yes because our final target is to divide these n in equal frequencies for that we will choose the some factor of this n and now for uh, optimizing it we will choose uh, the smallest prime factor and if that is less than m or equal to m then we will print no otherwise we will print yes so this is a my function that is calculated in the smallest prime factor this is same as save of error to thanus. and in this case I am calculating the smallest prime factor of any number here I am taking input for n and m and you can think that if value of n is 1 and m is 1 then always the output will be yes and in other cases I am checking the smallest prime factor of n if that is less than or equal to m then we will print yes otherwise we will print no so uh, that's all about this problem I hope you all understand it See you in the next problem. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.